Welcome back my friend, I'm John Silva. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create really awesome stylized text, which means that you're gonna learn how to create awesome textures. So in order to do that, let's go directory point. First of all, we need to insert a text. And to do that, I'm going to use here the artistic text tool, which is this one. Grab this tool, click, drag and place right here. I will type here water. So here I'm going to place this in blue. What we want to do it is to create one kind of effect that's gonna create a waves here inside. Of course, you could go here in search inside and then use right here the pencil tool in order to create the lines just like that, right? But the main idea is, is to make something more, let's say, nice. <laughs> I want to create here a rectangle here in the middle, all right? Just follow what I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be very simple. I have here this rectangle in this way, as you see. And the main idea is to use the symbols to do that. Okay, I will create now by selecting this shape. Click here to create. I have here this symbol. Hold out and shift and drag this onto the side because you're gonna be able to duplicate this, okay? Just like that. So I have here two objects side by side. And then the main idea that case, for example, if you draw anything here inside of this area, which is the symbol, okay? What's gonna happen is that affinity will start to add everything in others object, which means that this symbol is going to make the clone, all right? It's, it's a replication. The main idea it is to create these rectangles right here, okay, and duplicate by holding shift and out multiple times, just like this. After that, I'm going to resize here this object to make something like this, okay, all good. But we're not finished yet, because the main idea it is to duplicate this here on top more or less like that and well we are here we are creating the pattern all right so we need to be very aware about this technique as you can see we have a rectangle here just one that is creating for others and focus just in one all right because what's important and what's relevant here that case is that you need to match the beginning of that object with the end of the object as you can see we have this error so every time when we change this one it's gonna change others all right just like that and then the main idea in that case it is to make a wave so what i will do it is to i will select everything that we have here now i'm going to use the warp group and then i will activate the quad so I will activate the quad because now I can click here twice and then I can move this more to top and here this more to top and this one as well we are creating a sort of wave you know uh, texturing just like that and then I'm gonna have a result like that for now so as you can see it's not applied to others because we still need to apply this click here convert curves affinity will apply this textures to others elements because others elements are symbols and then what you need to pay attention here can you see this element you need to match this element in order to fit them properly let's say i will you know duplicate this here until i make this fitting well all right let's apply here so we have here this kind of textures all right and we just need to export just one so i'll select this one and then i'll go here to the file go to the export and then i will click here to the selection only which means that affinity in that case will export only this selected area but as you can see i have a gray background here i want to make this in transparent background how can i do that it's very simple get back to my project and then i'm going to remove here the color in the fill mode i'll click here and now i have just the lines here now what i want to do it is to go to the file again export go to the selection only and here i'm going to make this in a bigger size because if i export in 39 in that case it's gonna be too small i'm going to make this in 1000 so i'm gonna have this size which is for me really good and nice and i will pick up here a um, folder to export this select on air to export i'll click here so i have just exported our bitmap Then what you need to do it is just to follow what I'm gonna show you after you make your bitmap in that case what I want to do it is to place here but first I need to duplicate this 
because I want to apply these textures in an empty layer, which means that I want to apply here in this text here above. So what you can do it is to open the folder that you have exported. And here, as you can see, we have the image that we have exported. In that case, I'm going to select here the fill tool by selecting the, th the text, all right? Can you see this area? What you can do is to click here and drag onto your color area and Affinity will apply that texture over here. The nice thing about this, just to show you, is that if you press G, you can do this. As you can see, I want to change this color. Instead of changing from here, if you do that, it doesn't gonna work. Why? Because this is a bitmap, right? This is a, this is a pattern. And we need to do that technique. Go here to the layer effects, go to the color overlay, as you can see, we have here this black air. I want to change this to, let's say, if you make this in white, it's gonna look like this. If you want to go to more a blue era, which is gonna make it something like that, it's gonna be really nice. And do this, okay? We can create this wave uh, kind of texture, which is very nice, okay? And of course, if you want to change, for example, that case, I have here uh, this text in this style. Let me change this over the layer effect. I'm changing this pattern by layer effects. So you can have this very awesome kind of text style by doing this, this technique. I'm gonna make this in white, okay? It can be red. So you can make a sort of candy, you know, uh, place just like this. So let's get back to our uh, water, you know, uh, purpose here. I will get back to this purpose that we have. What I will do in that case, it is to apply a gradient here in this uh, water text and I will make this more blue and the water you know uh, that key with the texture I can you know, move this more on top or below and you can have this more depth but that case if you move this uh, you see that affinity will have this result outside this is happening because if you want to have this clipping you need to move this layer here okay inside of the text and now you can have this result which is really cool but we're not finished yet because I want to use the transparency to right here and apply this effect which creates a more deep sense of gradients here and there we go I will make this a bit more uh, like that here we have the color overlay okay but if you want to make this in gradient you can use here this tool which is the gradients on layer effects but this is more advanced you know if you want to learn much more than this I suggest you to get my master class where I teach you a hundred percent everything about the new version of Affinity Designer. In this new course, I show you every single feature here on Affinity Designer and you can learn everything in there. So I will leave here the link on the description below and you can get it right now. Guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it a lot. Please, if you enjoyed, hit the like. Comment here if you enjoyed this lesson because it's very important for me to keep doing tutorials like this to help you to learn more about Affinity, new techniques. And see you in another tutorial. Take care and bye-bye.